For the activities of Pakonda project, we travel to Ashashuni, remote location of southern Bangladesh, one of the world's most disadvantaged communities where poverty is a real challenge for the marginal fish farmers. Dependency on traditional aquaculture methods and a lack of trust in science increase poverty in remote rural aquaculture communities in India and Bangladesh. These communities often ignored, isolated and reluctant to accept new anti-poverty initiatives. We creatively engaged with children, farmers, local artists, local leaders through a series of events to bring stories of poverty and collaboratively understand the challenges for resilient fish farming. We engaged with children through a creative workshop. Children shared their stories of poverty articulated in their artworks, which helps to attend to expressive elements of poverty that cannot be captured in words. Water, natural disasters, lack of trust in God, lack of housing, helpless beggars, and clothes were their main features of the drawing. As a result of these activities, Bangladeshi children created postcards depicting challenges of rural life that were later shared with counterparts in Wales and produced an artistic response to developing a dialogue between schools in Ashashuni and Swansea. We developed a drama-based activity to give voice to disadvantaged children. These activities were based on the local folklore about rural life and fishing. The children selected one from these stories and, with the help of local artists, created masks from paper mesh to represent different fish and local farmer characters. Using these masks, the children retold a famous flock story in a drama reflecting on the importance of aquaculture in their lives, local beliefs and people's vision of the future. We conducted a workshop for storytelling from Bangladeshi community resonating children's experience of poverty and aquaculture. Children used Play-Doh and locally built clay models to develop the characters and different episodes in poverty stories, which were later framed into illustration in the storybook. The storybook explores sustainable futures and helps to co-develop poverty stories with young people and artists in Bangladesh. Natural disasters, lack of social networks, lack of support from God were the key issues reflected in the children's stories. Children's Storybook will be returned to Bangladesh and used as an educational learning resource to inspire behavioral change and improve well-being. Creative Workshop commissioned seven established and young Bangladeshi artists to participate in Pekonda project. Using visual arts to develop understanding of poverty to reach communities and to tell the stories of poverty in the form of art. As a result of a six month collaboration between the disadvantaged communities and the artists, the paintings were drawn in situ in the villages affected by poverty using the materials, objects, memories, and stories of the local people. The drawings of shrimp farming, individual disadvantage and challenges of rural life were later exhibited in the UK to engage with diverse audience, support a variety of learning programs and inspire different thinking about poverty. During the interviews with the poor people, 
in rural Bangladesh, many of the oft-overlooked people who were illiterate and couldn't express their stories in words, used the medium of drawing or sketches to share their experiences of poverty. Some of the people we interviewed told to us that they have never before had a chance to hold a pencil in their hands and draw. These sketches depicted the women, old, beggars, as the poorest in the community. People identified that divorced or widowed females with children were the poorest in the community because of low social and government support they receive. Old people who didn't get any support from their grown-up children were also seen as the poorest in the community. Again, those who were forced to beg because of their inability to work were deemed poor. The artists and the researchers, it gave us the opportunity to take a new approach to poverty drawing on the research findings, experiences, interviews and of course our observations. This event helped us to bring the whole community together, including its most disadvantaged members by including the voices of the poor, we hope that this initiative will help us to change the way policy makers shape things up. আনন্দ <laughs> <laughs> 